It took eight months to complete this large replica of Indian Creek, but it was worth the wait. KC Water and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers constructed the 65-foot-long model of Indian Creek to help engineers better understand just how the water flows and what causes it to flood. They unveiled the completed model to Kansas City Council members Andrea Boo and Mayor Pro Tem Kevin McManus, both representing the 6th District where Indian Creek flows. Yeah, this is a really impressive uh, thing that we saw today. It's going to help the 6th District and the city really in a variety of ways. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, protecting people. We had two events in 2017 that were historic water events, and so this will help us make sure that we are being proactive in terms of emergency management, protecting people's lives, preventing something like that from happening again. I thought it was fascinating. Um, you know, you can see the drone pictures of the flood, uh, but this really gets an opportunity for us to talk with the experts here in the Water Services Department, them to explain actually what is happening. In 2017, near 103rd and Warnell, Indian Creek experienced its highest flood on record. Businesses flooded, employees had to be rescued, and property was destroyed by rising water. Eventually, the shopping complex that housed Coach's Bar and Grill was demolished. Computer models that engineers relied on did not accurately calculate the potential flooding of Indian Creek. We have situations like this in which computer modeling doesn't work effectively because sometimes the water bounces off the sides of the creek and it starts flowing up the creek instead of down the creek and the computer can't predict that. We also have situations where water leaves the creek. The data could not anticipate debris in the roadway or hidden areas under the bridges. This large scale model does that. You know, they, they picked up buildings, they picked up the bridge, they they ran, they added dye to see the flow of water, and this just allows the opportunity to test and to create scenarios so that as we develop a plan in the future, that we have the knowledge behind it. Using aerial and land measurements, engineers designed the model to duplicate the measurements of the creek. Expert designers at Metropolitan Community College cut out the foam boards to make the landscaping, the buildings, and homes surrounding Indian Creek. It's one thing to be down there when a flood event happens and see a particular area. It's totally different to see it from above and see this is where the water is flowing and why. Um, so it's, I mean, I'm not an engineer, but for me it was extremely helpful just kind of to see the big picture. The model is housed inside a KC Water Warehouse. The total cost was $400,000 divided between the city's PIAC funds, and the Corps of Engineers. For KC Water, I'm Heather Friars.